everyone. We're very excited of our new uh, video blog, my new project. Um, it's a culmination. It's a lifelong dream for me. It's a culmination of a product project that I put together um, called Helpful Hints to Having a Happy and Healthy Horse. And it's self-explanatory. So um, I've been doing this all of my life, 45 years in the business. Um, you guys know all about me because you already read about me. Um, I specialize in sales now, but I did have a very, very big uh, career, uh, competitive career, instructing, training, teaching, um, the whole nine yards. Um, I went all the way up and through the dressage. I have my silver medal, um, competed and trained through the Grand Prix. Um, and then I did some reining and I did some working and now it's mostly sales. I'm retired from competition. Um, I'm pretty much retired from teaching. Um, I'm going to focus on this, this wonderful project with Anna, who's behind the camera, who's beautiful, who I will show you guys at some point. I'll turn the camera around. But um, I've been looking for the right person to help me fulfill this dream. And I found Anna at the Breed Exposition at Rancho Marietta in uh, Sacramento. And I'm very, very excited. Um, I have a lot of material, but I'm not good at editing. I basically throw a lot of material out there. And I desperately needed not only someone who could edit all the material, but also make it modern. Because I don't even do Facebook. Um, I'm good at my website. Um, but that's about it, an email. So Anna has her finger on the pole for all the modern stuff. So we'll be able to do all the fun modern stuff and we're gonna put it all together as a video blog and then eventually it will be an ebook series or at least that's what we're hoping eventually it will be. Um, what else about me? I do a lot of work that nobody else wants to do. I do a lot of starting youngsters. That's a game all in its own, of its own. Um, most trainers don't want to start youngsters. It's hard and it's dangerous. Um, so I do a lot of starting youngsters. I do a lot of problem solving. Horses that have issues or problems, they'll come to me. Um, I do a lot of basic training. I do a lot of foundation work. Um, I do a lot of working with very, very difficult horses that other people um, don't feel comfortable working with. So that's where I am in my life now. Um, I think that's enough for, for background. So here we are um, at our marvelous competition barn. Um, I've been here almost four years. Uh, this barn's been here. He does that when he's feeling tense. Stop. Stop. He does that when he's dealing tips. Oh, and I have to stay on track. We're going to do a upper level lesson, so I got to cut this short in a moment. Um, but we're at a competition barn in beautiful Petaluma, California. It's gorgeous. It's the middle of July. We have fog. Thank you, gods and goddesses. We have fog. Um, so it's nice and chilly and cool. I've got all my coats on. Um, Anna will sort of pan down, but it's a big barn, about a hundred horses. We have five or six trainers here. Um, each trainer has their own area. This is Tina walking by. There's Tina walking by with her gorgeous, fabulous, jumping warm blood. Um, I said jumping, but he's Dutch. The breed is Dutch, but he's a jumping warm blood. She jumps him. Her daughter jumps him. And I consider that boy probably the most talented on the property. So the horse that just walked by, I would consider one of the most talented jumpers here at this barn. So there's a big, huge covered arena. There's a beautiful entrance. There's this wonderful covered round pen. There's the two outdoor arenas that are full of jumps. And then up there, you'll see a really wonderful indoor arena. And that's where I'm doing most of my work. You'll see me doing most of my work in the indoor, in the covered arena over there, and in this fabulous covered round pen. So let me just finish this little part, this little introductory part. Isn't he sweet? This is Sebastian. 
So Sebastian is 18 years old. He is also a Dutch warm blood. He's extremely well bred. Um, and I love him. I love all of my training horses. Um, when someone puts their horses in training with me, the cell, we're fine on time. When someone puts their horse in training with me, the cell, I treat that horse as if it's my own. And that's why people trust me with the horses. I've been around a really long time. I have a really good reputation and I worship the horses. So once the horses are here, I treat them like they're my own. I give them all the love and affection that they would get from their owners. Um, and usually they're, well not usually, always, they come to be sold and their owners don't see them again. Uh, so their owners say goodbye when they arrive. Um, but we're very, very good at finding um, the right match, the right human for the right horse. I know, he does that for me. So you're okay. I know you want to move on. Um, so... A lot of sales, a lot of focusing on matching the right human with the right horse. So Sebastian is in training to sell.